Hello, my wonderful Leos. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of those of you that are currently not in communication with your person. So let's just get started here. Hmm. The Ten of Cups wanted to pop out here, guys. Okay, so interesting could be someone that you were in a higher level of commitment with or it just lets me know that it is someone who's still thinking about a commitment with you hmm. ace of cups on the bottom of the deck and the queen of pentacles well this is a very clear message that this seems to be someone who wants a new beginning with you knight of swords behind the ace of cups is someone who possibly even feels an urgency to communicate with you and Queen of Pentacles could be when someone is viewing you as like an ideal partner or someone that is, you know, not only very stable, very resourceful, but extremely nurturing, extremely patient. And it's interesting that the Ace of Cups is coming out in a no contact uh, spread here because it's definitely someone who wants a new beginning. So I'm going to start off by seeing how they're currently viewing you. Okay, so they are viewing you in the Two of Swords energy, okay? They may view you as someone who's kind of like in between worlds at this time. They could feel like you're in the process of like making a decision, whether it's like the decision to move on or, you know, be involved in this connection, or they may be aware of another large decision or some sort of milestone that you are, you have attained for yourself or some sort of, I, I more so see it as a decision, Leo, like they may be aware of a major decision that you have to make. So if it's not about the bond, it could be that, uh, you know, maybe you're in the process of relocating or maybe you're in the process of switching careers, but they do feel like you're in between worlds at this time, okay? They may also feel like you have some sort of questions for them in terms of like something may not be clear to you or maybe the ending was or, or what led to the separation was a little bit confusing. <clears throat> we have the uh, temperance card here. Some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius and we also have the page of wands. Okay. So temperance and the page of wands coming out in the challenge position is more so just someone who wants to speak to you someone who wants um, more balance, more harmony in this connection here, and they're trying to focus on the optimistic side of things, right? So, you know, even if there was a disagreement, even, even though you guys are in a separation here, they are trying to look at the bright side of the situation because the temperance definitely speaks about, you know, taking the negative and turning it into something positive here. But I mainly see it as someone who wants to reach out to you, someone who wants to speak to you, the way that you're viewing them, Knight of Pentacles, you may feel like this person is in like a very premeditated energy. Maybe for others of you, you feel like they are very uh, slow moving. This could also be like a past energy where you feel like in the past they were taking very long to either commit or they were taking very long to make a decision. But I do see it as someone who really wants to like communicate to you, but they're trying to be very like they're thinking about something thoroughly. I don't really see it as someone who's like coming in impulsively. I more so see it as like, yes, they feel an urgency to speak to you, but they may feel like <clears throat> they only have one chance to get something right. Or they may feel like they only, like they have to tread very carefully at this time. <clears throat> so in your feelings, we have the four of wands and we have the nine of pentacles. Yeah. You know, because this person's viewing you in the Two of Swords energy, but with the Four of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles um, in your feelings, I feel like you may actually be in between worlds because Four of Wands could be you wanting to reconnect with this person. It could be, you know, a card of reconciliation, but Nine of Pentacles is more of an independent energy. So I wonder if some of you are kind of thinking, do I just want to enjoy my independence? Um, do I just want to, you know, stay on my own? Or am I willing to give this person an another chance? There is something here about you almost feeling like you had to, like where you currently are, only you know what you had to do to get there. So like, even if you were going through, you know, like a healing uh, journey or you were in the process of, uh, you know, healing, you're in a very positive space now. 
So it's almost a question of, do I want to return, you know, to this person or, or, you know, give them a second chance or do I just want to continue being on my own here? And I don't think you fear their response or you fear giving them a second chance, but a part of, a part of the energy is kind of like, you feel like you would be risking something. Like, I don't know if you feel like you'd be risking your independence or you just feel like I worked very hard to heal from what happened in the past. So moving forward, I don't know if I want to give this person a, another chance. So I feel like you're definitely in the process of making a decision. Four of Wands lets me know you still feel connected to this individual, but Nine of Pentacles is like, you know, you're, you are pouring into your own cup. You're putting yourself first at this time. <clears throat> Seven of Swords and the Magician in your feelings. You may be in between worlds because you don't trust this person. Seven of Swords, especially coming out with the Magician, could um, quite literally mean some sort of emotional manipulation. So if you were emotionally manipulated by this person in the past or there was even a case of gaslighting, you're really, um, you know, feeling kind of uh, confused here or you're like, uh, you know, I don't trust the situation. Because it's like, even though you don't trust the situation, you can't just deny how you feel towards this person. So I understand, uh, you know, how you're feeling right now, Leo. I feel like for some of you, it's almost like, okay, I feel connected to you, but I still view you as someone that I don't trust. Or I feel connected to you, but I'm still reminded of what has happened in the past. There's something here that could have came to light, or you quite, quite literally, um, like, figured something out, and this person could have, you know, um, owned up to something that they were, uh, you know, doing here. But because we have a Seven of Swords upright, they, that just may be sneaky behavior or someone who tried to get away with, uh, you know, maybe doing something uh, behind, behind your back here. And with the Magician, that's why I said those two cards coming out together could definitely be emotional manipulation. So that's what's going on in your feelings. Uh, temperance is being clarified by the Nine of Cups. <clears throat> the Moon is clarifying the page of wands yeah there's some sort of secrecy that because we have the moon also falling in the challenge position and clarifying the page of wands this could also be like like you know what's hidden from you is the fact that this person actually wants to communicate to you we have the nine of cups and the temperance it's almost an energy of someone feeling like you make them very happy you are wish fulfillment but there's some sort of secrecy that's impacting the bond and again, even if it's not secrets that are, you know, occurring between the both of you right now, it could be what has happened in the past, but, you know, maybe you're still in the process of forgiving this person or that's something that you didn't necessarily, um, you know, accept yet. Like you're still healing uh, through that. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces here. I also see a question of maybe even wondering if there's some sort of selfish intent involved. Like you may feel, you know, especially with the Seven of Swords and the Magician, if you feel like you were emotionally manipulated with the Nine of Cups, you may also wonder if this person was kind of involved for a selfish intent, right? Or were they really looking out for you or, uh, you know, concerned about considering your feelings and your perspective and what you wanted in this bond here? I just see it as someone who wants to reach out to you, but there, there's like, it's almost like it may... Um, throw you off because with the moon you don't see it coming and if the moon is not about secrecy guys it could definitely be about you know just feeling uncertain about a situation feeling like you know there's a lot in the unknown and it's like wanting to move forward but feeling like you know it's very dark or like I said there's a lot that they don't know right now this is how they feel <clears throat> okay ten of wands and their feelings <clears throat> excuse me sorry guys and the ten of pentacles wow so we have the four of wands in your feelings we have the ten of pentacles in theirs there's something that they feel very overwhelmed by with the ten of wands and because it's coming out with the ten of pentacles they're still thinking of you they're still wanting a connection here um but they may feel like it requires a lot of work to or a lot of effort to possibly fix things with you or number two what, what the reason why they feel overwhelmed is because they still have feelings for you. It's like trying to accept an ending, but then feeling overwhelmed because you're still thinking about a new beginning or you're still thinking about a connection as if it still exists. So this person may not be, they may not have fully processed the ending as you did here. For others of you, Ten of Wands and Ten of Pentacles, guys, that could be someone who is in a connection, but they feel like it's burdensome. 
So only take the messages that resonate here. I am reading for a lot of you, but 10 of wands and 10 of pentacles could also be someone who's like in another connection and they're very burdened by it, but then they feel like very entitled to the situation where it's like, okay, well, this is what I have to do, but I'm not happy doing it. So someone could be feeling a bit miserable. The wheel of fortune and the page of cups. If I'm being completely transparent here, Leo, I think that this person wants some sort of change in this dynamic. They want a new beginning with you. This is someone who not only has emotions for you, I just feel like the way their demeanor or the way that they have approached you or their approach to the situation in the past may have uh, came off a little bit immature with that Page of Cups energy. And Page of Cups, you know, in, in traditional tarot, there's a fish in this cup there. It's and it's symbolic for imagination. So this person may feel like there's a lot of fantasizing going on, or they may wonder, you know, I love Leo and I want a connection with Leo, but is it all in my mind? Does Leo feel the same way? Because for some of you, if this person is tied to another situation, whether it's, you know, another lover, whether it's, you know, responsibilities pertaining to children or family, um, the situations could vary. It, even if they're feeling entitled to that situation, but wanting a new beginning with you, that could be the reason why you have the Magician and the Seven of Swords in your feelings. Like you're viewing them as you know that they're entitled to another situation or you know that they were dishonest about their responsibilities, um, you know, in, in the past here. Because what it seems like to me is this person is upset with how their life is going or where things are and they just want this brand new beginning with you. But it's coming off very like, let's just do this or like i'm just going to reach out to leo because page of cups it's like a small offer it, it does have the potential to uh you know grow into something larger but this person's not seeing something clearly whether it's because they're in denial whether it's because they want to um you know speak to you but there's something else they need to close out as well and it's almost like this urgency to speak to you because they're not happy with how things are but Again, depending on your situation, are they are they not happy because you the both of you are not speaking or are they not happy because they're tied to another situation, but they're still not leaving it, right? I do see like a very like almost like an urgency, I guess is the best word for me to describe it when it comes to wanting to uh, speak to you, wanting to tell you how they feel. And this person's very tempted by you, Leo. I feel like this person's like willing to risk it all here, you know, with that page of cups and wheel of fortune. It's like really not only wanting a change when the wheel of fortune comes up in a spread guys it does speak about needing to follow your internal compass this person feels guided towards you but there's something else that feels burdensome again if they're not attached to another situation leo they feel like what has happened in the past between the both of you it's hard to reverse the effects of that because the ten of pentacles could quite literally just be the connection that the both of you were in but with the ten of wands they may feel like something to do with the ending or the way that things transpired between the both of you. Again, it's very hard to reverse the effects of that. The Empress. Some of you could be dealing with the Libra or a Taurus and the King of Pentacles and the potential outcome. Wow. What's the Empress? The Ten of Swords, the King of Pentacles, the High Priestess. Wow. Wow. Leo, this is a very specific download, but this person wants to come towards you. But what the cards are telling me with the Empress and the Ten of Swords is they have to put something else to an end. Like, I'll give you a scenario here, Leo. If you met this person while they were still cutting ties with like an ex-lover, again, the Empress could be like a mother figure or it could quite literally be someone that this individual has children with or a father figure, right? Um, but... It's interesting that the Empress is being clarified by the Ten of Swords because there's an energy of almost needing to end something in order to have growth in this situation with you. And with the King of Pentacles and the High Priestess, like they are focused on stability. <clears throat> but with the High Priestess, there's, a, there's still a lot of secrecy. We have the Moon and the High Priestess in the same spread. I do see it as someone who is following their intuition, but this person may be trying to end something in silence. That's what I see in the potential outcome. Ten of Swords and the High Priestess could be like closing out a cycle or, um, you know, putting something to an end and it may be very painful, but they're keeping it to their self. So again, if it's not about them putting an end to another connection, they could be grieving the separation. Uh, they could be grieving during, you know, the separation that the both of you are going through, but they're keeping it to their self. Because not for all of you is it going to be that they're connected to another person, but that's definitely a high possibility here. <clears throat> Four of Swords, yeah. They're, they're spending a lot of time thinking about you. They're, they're wanting more with you, but there's a lot that they're keeping to their self. 
And this person may feel like whether it's a behavioral trait, whether it's another situation, whatever they're putting to an end, they're not speaking about it. They're not like open about it. They're kind of doing it behind closed doors in hopes that they can have a change with you. And they see growth with you, but the issue here is some sort of manipulation that took place in the past. So it could even be like, okay, now I want more with Leo, but then I, I said this in the past and that wasn't true. So how do I come back from that? Okay. <clears throat> Let's see if there's anything they want to communicate to you. It's time for me to heal now. Interesting that the closing card was the Four of Swords and the Four of Swords speaks about healing. So this could be healing, you know, because of the separation or they're trying to heal something that's deeply rooted within them. Bottom of the deck, it says, uh, so many things remind me of you. I do feel like this person, like, for example, like with the Seven of Swords and the Magician in your feelings, like this person is aware of some sort of dishonesty. Like, I don't think that they're oblivious to why you're upset or why there's a separation, but I think that they may have been avoiding healing, you know, a part of them or, or at least facing, you know, the issue. Um, and, and I feel like, you know, that's what they're going to be doing because the four of swords is coming out in the potential outcome with the 10 of swords, which is someone who's like accepting something will not be the same again, or something is officially over, but, but it's more so like actually accepting it and facing it instead of suppressing it. I wish I had treated you better. Yeah. And I feel like for some of you, this, um, you know, because it's coming off to me as they wish that they were honest or they were open from the beginning. Because even with the Page of Cups in their feelings, they feel like they kind of handled things in an immature manner. I wish I could take back my words. So there could be something in particular that they communicated to you and they're kind of like, I wish I never said that. Anything else? I am not available. And I did say for some of you, this person could be in another commitment. And again, Leo, like it's even if you did not know that or this person told you that they were in the process of a breakup or they recently went through a breakup, I think that there was there was something um, they could have said something along the lines of that. But, you know, furthermore, you kind of figured out they were manipulating the situation, maybe telling you what you wanted to hear or telling you um, a false story because they wanted your perspective of them to be different from what was really going on in their reality and if i'm not available does it doesn't need to be that they're another connection it could also be someone who's not emotionally you know available right the changes don't always have to be leaving another situation the changes could also be not you know like changing um or, or changes pertaining to like behavioral traits or thinking patterns so my wonderful Leos, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.